Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party. And in this one we're gonna be taking a closer look at the new podium vehicle, the Pegasi Osiris. As usual, we're gonna be looking at its exterior, its interior, its performance and customization options down in Los Santos Customs. And of course I'll be providing some useless information along the way. For example, did you know that the Osiris has 4 wheels? Amazing, right? But in all seriousness, the real world car that inspired this one was the Pagatti Huayra. And just like this one, it has 2 doors, 2 seats, engine in the back. One thing that both cars share is their insane price. The Osiris is gonna cost you 2 million dollars from the legendary motorsports website. Also, the vehicle was released in 2015 which makes it about 5 years old as of the recording of this video. And this is what the interactivity of the car looks like, you can open both going doors and the hood, which is on the back. And posing the car in this way really showcases the design in my opinion. And I have to say from this angle it really resembles a LaFerrari. But all in all a beautiful car from the outside. But what is it like on the inside? Man, lucky for you we'll be able to explore that and hear how the engine sounds in just a little bit. Okay, so we can put a check mark that it has an inside. And it has an engine as well. So far, this car is 2 for 2. And as we start making our way down to Los Santos Customs, it's time to see if it's a real wheel drive or an all wheel drive vehicle. Cause let's face it, nobody likes the front wheel drive cars. And no surprises here, we're dealing with an all wheel drive car. And with that, let's get going. And to be honest, my initial thoughts on the stock version of this car that you're looking in front of you are that it feels first of all very fast and second of all a little bit slidey for an all-wheel drive vehicle. But slidey doesn't mean bad, it's actually fun to drive. And I'm really curious to see if this is gonna change as soon as we slap a spoiler on it. The acceleration as I said is good but definitely not gonna be the fastest car in its category, which is the super class car category. One thing that I really like about the car is how it handles the road. Really feels like you're connected and the car is very responsive, it's gonna do exactly what you want it to do. Which reminds me that I wanted to respond to a few people that critiqued my review of the Toradori. And I'm actually gonna double down on that, I still think it's a horrible vehicle, I still think it's not worth 3.5 million. And I really can't wait for all of you to just take your rose colored glasses and see the reality. It's definitely by far the best vehicle from the DLC, but does that make it good? And here we are finally in Los Santos Customs and it's time to customize the Osiris. And just like always the first thing we're gonna do of course after we fix the damage we did on the way here is go through all the performance options and max those out first. Which does two things, first I don't forget to do any of the performance mods. And secondly it allows me to skim over all the customization options for later. And as I'm skimming and upgrading, upgrading and skimming I just want to remind you that this vehicle was released once again in 2015. Which means the customization options on it are probably not gonna be as good as something released recently. For example the almighty Toreador. Oh no wait that one was horrible. Never mind. But in all seriousness I'm only offering you when this car was released to explain why it has limited customization options. Rear bumper, yes or no, spoiler, yes or no, do you want an exhaust? I don't know, maybe a chrome one. Maybe if the Toreador had one it would have been better. And I know I'm really harping on this Toreador thing but it really bothers me. It's just so dumb when somebody says, well it has faster air boost and that's why it's good. Doesn't matter that it can't steer, it costs more than most of the vehicles in the game but it's good cause it can go underwater. Anyway enough about that, this is gonna be the last time I mentioned the Toreador in this video. And we're up to the spoiler options, and here regardless of the choice you make, if you put a spoiler on, the traction bar is gonna increase by the same amount. And because I really like those rims, I'm not even gonna bother going through all the options. Too bad I can't respray those. And the last customization option we're gonna go through before respraying the car is the window tint option. And for this one, I definitely think light smoke is gonna be the way to go. One thing that I found a bit peculiar is that there's no height adjustment for this vehicle. But I guess you can't have it all. Cool exhaust and a slammed vehicle are just two incompatible things. And as far as the color we're gonna choose for this one, you guys were pretty definitive that the Osiris was gonna be white. And in case you're new to the channel and you don't know what you're looking at, with the release of every new podium vehicle, you guys choose the color I make it in these review videos. So if you wanna be a part of that process in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell. And while you're at it, get me a sandwich. And going through all the colors, you can definitely see that this car looks great in most of them. So in reality, I don't think there was a bad choice on the pole. Well maybe except the one Amber made, but that's a different story for another video. 
and this however as I said before we're going with a frost white primary color and as for the secondary color we're gonna go matte and I really liked how the red looked on the car when I came in but I think I want something blue this time and midnight blue it is and with that our stay at Los Santos customs is coming to an end now it's time to go out see how the car performs with the upgrades we did to it and how it looks in the sunlight evening light And I have to say guys, I think the car looks very good, but my opinion doesn't matter in this case. What do you think? How would you rate it from 1 to 10? 1 being horrible, 10 being totally awesome. Rate the vehicle and the driver or the driving skills displayed in this video. As for how the car performs and handles after the upgrades, it's pretty much the same to be honest. One thing that really has improved and by a large margin is how the car sounds. But don't take my word for that, listen for yourselves. And to answer how the car compares now as opposed to when it was stock, it feels honestly pretty much the same. Yes, it does have better traction, but it also has more power, so the two basically cancel each other out. And in no way, shape or form am I suggesting that this is the fastest vehicle in the game, but it's one of those that feels fast and is very fun to drive. And that really doesn't make it competitive and that's when things get difficult for me. See, I don't really do races, so I can't tell you if this is gonna be good or not for them. The way I drive my vehicles is in free roam, and I can definitely tell you that it's very fun to drive in free roam. And don't let my horrible driving deter you, I'm doing a scientific test. Yes, that's it. I'm testing to see how durable the vehicle is, and to see if it has an operational autopilot. Sadly for now, there's no autopilot, but the car is fairly durable. But bro, how many rockets can it take? I don't know. One? Is that really important? Isn't seeing how far you can fall with the car more important than see how many rockets can it take? Whoops, I promised that I wasn't gonna talk about that vehicle anymore. Never mind. But as you can see, the Osiris, even after that huge fall, is operational. Which is to be expected. I'm not sure if I'm able to justify the $2 million price tag on it, seeing how it's not very competitive in races. But if you're watching this video in the week it was released, then this is the current podium vehicle which means you still have at least a couple of days to snatch this from the lucky wheel. And if that's the case, I think this is a no-brainer. Especially if you're like me and you're driving most of your vehicles in free roam. It's fun, it's agile, and most of all, it's free. And even if it's not your cup of tea when it comes to driving, it still looks great in the garage. So think of it that way. And I think with that, we are gonna be ending this one. Thank you so much to everybody who watched, hopefully you liked what you saw, and if that's the case, don't forget to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and with all that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Can't believe I haven't crashed the entire video. Never mind.